All right, everyone, welcome back to some Fire Emblem Heroes. I am Johan, and I'm here to bring you the new Chrom and Lisa Bound Hero battle here. Uh, this is definitely one of the easier ones they've released uh, recently, but no biggie. I'll show you what I did here. Uh, I'm going to be using a full Awakening team here. So we got my Morgan, female Morgan here, with her default kit and quick repost instead of guard. Um, this speed plus three seal is going to be necessary to double Chrom. Uh, she is plus speed, which is pretty nice in this case. Uh, and then we have my plus seven Lucina. That is a complete accident. All eight copies of her that I never wanted. But she proves to be very useful here with her close defense seal, which is going to be pretty important. And I have my Christmas Lisa, who has... Uh, I forgot what this is called. Sturdy Blow, I believe, in English. And Bold Fighter. The starting seats speed seal is going to be necessary to have uh, Morgan double Chrom, okay? And my Summer Robin, who is her, who is Fury, Quicker Post, Dead and Speed, and none of that really matters. She's just going to be there to soak up some hits and reposition. So let's get started. <clears throat> all right. Now this one isn't really too bad because all you really need to do is find a safe way to bait out this healer here. Which I'm going to do with Elise. And then I'm going to just move Le uh, Lucina over here so she can not get chipped by Savage Blow. So yeah, we only take three from the staff user. Gravity happens, but whatever. Savage Blow. No biggie. Now, and then I'm going to take out the staff user with Lisa. Oh, I just realized that. Kind of got... A family thing going on here. Assuming you have Krom shipped with Robin. <laughs> this is his whole family. But anyway. So we take out the staff user. And then we're going to reposition out Lisa with Morgan. And then reposition Morgan with Robin. And then have Lucina just pop up here. Now for whatever reason the... Oh yeah. Uh, the Lance here attacks Lisa instead of Robin. Because Robin would have killed. So... This helps because Robin is needed to tank this green mage coming here. So that works out really well. We just barely live. And then... Let's see. We're going to have Lisa finish off... Yeah, we're going to have Lisa finish off this flyer here. Deleted. And then Lucina's going to move in. And basically take care of everything for the rest of the match. <laughs> Robin's no longer necessary. And I'm since uh, Lucina's blocking off this choke point, I can have... I'm going to move Morgan here. Now, uh, now that Krom is in range for a threatened speed by Lisa, Morgan will be able to double Krom for the kill. We're going to heal up here. So, threat and speed happens. And so, Morgan's able to double for the kill. And here it's just a matter of cleaning up. When my turn. And that will be it. So, yeah. Very easy. Uh, I'm sure... Not too many of you had trouble with this. If not, there's plenty of guides out there with uh, hardly any investment units, free-to-play units and whatnot to get this done. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. That was my run of take on this with Awakening-only units. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And there's my four orbs. We just hit 100 orbs, so that's cool. Uh, if you guys check the news, we got that Spring Banner coming. My prediction was it was going to be school uniforms because of... This season right now is graduation season and uh, the new year for Japan, but we'll just be getting new spring units again. I don't know who it's going to be, but my guess is Felicia on the right as the right silhouette. I have no idea for the left one. But yeah, we'll be seeing the answer to those tomorrow probably in the trailer. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you like this, please leave a comment, like, tell me what you did, whatever. And definitely subscribe if you want more of this content. So thanks for watching and see you next time.